Good morning, everybody in YouTube land. Welcome, Off Gridders. I hope you guys are having a wonderful vacation if you're on it. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Hope everybody got what they wanted. Uh, if you didn't, don't forget, we're still doing the giveaway. I have the Blinko DJ VX50 VT. You can see the box sitting back here. Here's the radio that I've been using. So, somebody's going to win that once we hit 1,000 subscribers. Again, don't forget we also have the SDR review coming up. We'll also be giving this away. Uh, we may also be giving away some of these chargers, universal chargers. Uh, we just did these on the last video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. These are great for emergency use or if you're out and about charging all your batteries. But to today's video, we are going to take a look at the UV5R. Now everybody's saying, wait a minute. Off grid, we, we've looked at the UV5R very frequently. Everybody's got a UV5R, right? Did you know the UV5R could potentially be tri band? Now, I'm not saying this for all of them, but the one that I have here, which this is a God, I, I got this probably five, six years ago. Doesn't say any versions, it's just a UV5R, eight watt. You can kind of see it there. So it's nothing special. You can see it says 136 to 174, 400 to 520. So it's nothing special, just the UV5R. But I'm gonna show you today how with a application, we can go ahead and unlock the 1.25 meter band. Stay tuned after this. All right, so I've got the UV5R back up here. You can see we've got the 446.000 uh, calling frequency for UHF. We've got our 146.520 for VHF or two meter. Uh, they both work. I did uh, call sign off camera, but I just wanna show you here that we can transmit. There's the first one. There's the second one. Now, what I'm gonna do here now is I am going to pull up a 220 frequency. We'll just try 224 for 100. And you can see it just bounces right back. It doesn't even let you put it in. So let me pause this video. I'm going to get you over to the desktop. We'll show you what you have to go through to get this set up. And then we will come back and try to see if it works. All right. So what you want to do is you want to open up a browser. You want to go to this link that I've got pasted below. And what it's going to do is it's going to download a piece of software that looks like this. So you see UV5R, it's all in Chinese. Um, like the rest of you guys, I don't speak Chinese. You can change it if you'd like to. You just go to the next to last option, go down to the second one, click the second there, changes it to English. So it's under settings, language, English. Now what we want to do is we want to go to program and you want to read from the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and get the radio connected here. There it is. We're going to go ahead and hit read from the radio. We're going to start. Um, if it does not read, check your COM ports. Uh, you may have to go into settings and change your COM port. I only have the one cable in here, so it's going to pick it up, but your mileage may vary. Um, so go ahead and read your radio. Go ahead and save a copy of this just to make sure if anything happens, you have it. UV5R. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and frequency range settings. So you're gonna see here, it's gonna show frequency range. So you wanna click read. It's gonna read it and it's gonna tell you what you have. So right now, currently the radio is set to 136 to 174, 400 to 520, like we saw on the back of the label. If you do the drop down box though, you're gonna notice there's an option for 136 to 260 and 400 to 520. So you're gonna select that option. You're gonna choose right. And that is it. That is everything. So let me go ahead and disconnect the radio. I'm gonna bring you back over to the bench with the camera. We'll go ahead and show you that we can transmit on it and we'll pull up the SDR and show that we can actually receive that transmission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back up here. You can see I've got the laptop with the RTL SDR plugged in. We've got RTL SDR, SDR Sharp, sorry, 
uh, which is uh, links are in rtlsdr.com. We are set to 223-400, uh, which that's in the FM simplex calling frequency range for 1.25 meter. We also have the bow fang now you can see the UV5R is set to 223-400. I've already identified, so I'm going to go ahead and key up here real quick. And if you didn't hear that, you could hear that the audio came on when it saw it picking it up. Uh, so once again, I'll go ahead and talk into it so you could hear it. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. So hopefully you heard that in the background. Um, if not, I'm going to get an audio recording of this as well so I can play it for you, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and insert here. So there you guys have it, 1.25 meters on the UV5R. Very simple unlock. Uh, just download it, change the setting, write it to the radio. Uh, the audio that you did here is very garbled. I'm using a dual band antenna. Uh, take it, take that. You know what it's worth. You know the the Valfang UV5Rs don't have very good audio as it is, but you know as per se with a tri-band antenna it probably sound a lot better uh, it probably wouldn't sound so much gainy and uh, yeah so i mean in an emergency you've got you know two meter 1.25 meter and 70 centimeter on a uv5r uh, like i said i don't know if this is going to work with all of them especially some of the newer ones where they've got the bands locked down this may or may not work um, however you know if you've got an older uv5r try it out um, i did try it on the uv82 it does not work uh, of course, probably because the UV82 is, is different programming. Um, however, the UV5R, it did work. Um, I've tried it on two other UV5Rs that I have. One that I got, oh man, many years ago. I got it in a battle box, which is what got me into ham radio. Uh, so, yeah, guys, 1.25 meters on UV5R. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget about the uh, giveaway, 1,000 subscribers. We will be giving away this link go back here. Uh, so, please don't forget. Let me know what you guys think and have a great afternoon.